as if we had planned it and we didn't, right? I never met you before today. He said, what is that anyway? What is high anyway? And I appreciate, by the way, the ones of you who are honest enough to say that. Because you know what, if you thought it, a bunch of other people are thinking it too. And I've been doing this a long time. Even the ones who act like they know everything, just so you know, a lot of them don't. So here's the deal. The mystery of the high. Ooh, it sounds like a book. In fact, I may have put that on the website. What is high anyway? It's kind of like we're all going to go to Disneyland and it's going to be the same ride. And we're all going to go there and we're going to get on that ride and it's going to be identical for all of us. When we go there to get high or buzzed or stoned or whatever it's going to be, it's going to be amazing and it's going to be the same for all of us, right? Right? Yeah. Oh no. Just so you guys know, drugs, drugs are not predictable, just so you guys know. Are you with me? Because I know there's a lot of misconception about this. I know some of you have some experience. I can feel that. However, you're here, I hope, to open your ears and your eyes to possibly a couple of things you hadn't thought of. Drugs are not predictable. My, my family, we had alcoholism in my family, and I can tell you that one time somebody could drink a lot of whatever they drank, and they could be the funniest, nicest person ever. And that person would be going, I love you guys, and you're the best ever, and so sweet and nice. And my friends are like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. And we would think it was cool that they were drinking. But that same person could be drinking a couple days later and drink the exact same amount, same kind of things, and act mean and angry. Did you guys know that sometimes people are angry and mean when they drink alcohol? If you haven't seen it on TV or movies, I'm surprised because people throw stuff and they're angry and they say, you looking at me, you talking to me, that kind of thing. Sometimes they don't care about what's going on around them. They get very paranoid. They can feel like people are being mean to them because they're under the influence of a drug that can make us feel that way. Now, wait a minute. I was going to feel good, but it made me like that. And I hurt people, and I scared people, and I misbehaved in my family, and I had to tell them I'm sorry. But I wanted to feel happy. What I'm trying to get at here, guys, is that you don't get to pick side effects. Does marijuana make people have fun and laugh sometimes? Yes, it does. But sometimes it makes people really, really tired to the point that they pass out. They go right to sleep, and they're out. And they're not going to be a part of the party, and they're not going to have fun, and they're not going to be with their friends. I could smoke marijuana, and I could also end up staring at the carpet fuzz for three hours. Because it makes people do that, too. Substances don't make sense. My daughter used way too much cold medicine, and I told you they were hallucinating and seeing weird things but they also didn't know what was going on in the room. Those kids had no idea that my daughter died until the next day because things that were happening with her didn't seem real. When people use things that make them hallucinate and cold medicine when you use way too much makes you hallucinate and see weird things, scary things, all kinds of things, but it also stops you from understanding what's real. And that's a dangerous place for us to be in, guys. If you don't know who you are, where you are, and what you're doing at all times, that's dangerous, right? Because that's how we protect ourselves. That's how we know we're safe, is that I can think clearly, I can hear perfectly, no messages are getting mixed up. When people use drugs, messages get mixed up. 